Jungle. Good day viewers, welcome to the channel, breaking news. I am ready to lay down my life for Igbo, New Anyangu, President General of Ohane Zendi Igbo, Worldwide, Chief Emmanuel New Anyangu, has swear to for peace, describing the level of insecurity and unimaginable extrajudicial killings in Igbo land as horrendous, insisting that this has to stop. Yuanyang vowed to vow that if it will take his life to restore peace in the southeast, he was ready to do so. Ohaneze President General spoke on Saturday night while addressing journalists on the 2023 Igbo Day, Igbo Day celebration coming up on Saturday 28 and 29 with the church service held on Sunday at the Cathedral Church of Good Shepherd. The, 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 autogen, the autogenarian who spoke on various efforts and strategies his leadership has decided to take to restore peace. However, explain that each time he hears that one person is killed in Igbo land, it it diminishes his people. It diminishes his person. Sorry. He said that as father of all Igbos, he would use his exerted position as the president general to pursue peace to all costs, adding that he would go as far as Finland or Finland and other parts of the world to discuss with Biafran agitators. I will take a kinetic approach that we require the cooperation of everybody. I will take peace. I will talk peace. I am ready to lay down my life to see that there is peace in Igbo land. I will go to Finland and everywhere to see that there is peace in Igbo land. I will go and cry to them. I will pray to God that I achieve success. He said, I have decided that as a father, I am tired of death of my children. Ndi will have given me the responsibility of leading them at this time. Each time I hear anybody kill, I feel very sad. I feel very sad too because those of them who are joining whatever it is are doing it because some of them are hungry. Some of them are employed. I am not saying that hunger and unemployment should make somebody become a criminal, but not everyone has the capacity to endure hardship or hunger. We have been using a kinetic approach. I think I am going to advise. I am going to discuss as part of the Igbo Day celebration. I am likely to announce a non-kinetic approach. I will, as a father, now call everybody 
it is my duty to call everybody for peace on the 29th of this month during my address. I will initiate a non-kinetic approach. I will appeal to our people because we have these programs. We have we have stated so that when people leave school, there will be when people leave school, there yeah, there will be there will have opportunities. So this non kinetic approach will require everybody's support. It will require the support of the state governors and the federal government. It is good for the federal government to have peace in Southeast. I won't pay them to have bloodshed because you see bloodshed does not pay anybody so whatever sacrifices they make to bring the non-kinetic approach which saves killing and bloodshed i will use i will useful i will be useful and will be useful and that is what i want to do wow so there is need for adjustments there is need for an amendment i don't want to kill anybody i'm going to reach all these people by any means and i will talk to peace i will talk for peace i don't want to kill anyone i don't want to kill any of their my children i don't want to kill any of my children all these people the government are my children i will talk to them i will talk sense into their heart my dear listeners this is what the general of the uh, amazing Debo is saying that he doesn't want bloodshed, he doesn't want any problem again. He will talk to them while addressing them in 20, on 29th and this 